dear children, parents, and friends, and hope you have enjoyed our phonics session so far. And today is our final session, and the last session is today. And so far, we have covered so many elements. I'll just give you a little bit of review or reminder about this. So um, we have covered um, first a letter sound, a letter recognition, and we have covered last letter sound, and we have covered middle letter sound, we have covered um, CVC words, um, articulation, games, we played various games, and uh, we did blending and segmenting, we did decoding, short story with the comprehension, uh, we introduced the word families, and also uh, sight words. We did the word counting, and we did um, letter counting in words, and we did um, sentences construction, and we have covered a lot more element. And we did also diagraphs and, and blends. In this session, today's session, we just wanted to introduce you with the diphthongs. So, um, diagraphs is important as the diphthong as well. Children need to know a little bit more about it. When is um, phonics become a little bit, you know, like advanced? And on that point, children learn the diphthong. And uh, phonics need to be learned gradually, systematically. Like as you can see from our first video to today's video, you will see the progression, like how we started and how, how far we come to. So we started with the basics and then slowly, slowly we made it harder. And it goes even, you know, difficult, but children are able to cope with that because when we teach phonics, we take only uh, a small element to teach the children. Uh, in this video, of course, it is a little bit difficult. We try to give you a broader you know, knowledge and idea how phonics look like. So therefore, we had to try to cover a lot of the things that you want to know. But if you have, um, if you have any questions or if you wanted to know more about phonics, please do uh, get in touch with the Sydney International School and we are here to help you. So let's get on with the diphthongs. What are diphthongs? What is diphthong? Diphthongs are two or more letters that combine to form one unique sound, which is like, you know, form a unique vowel sound. So for example, ear, oi, r, Ow, R, R. So E and R together, R. O and Y together is OI. A and R, R together is R. And then O and W together is OW. A and R together, R. A and e, er, together is air. So it goes like this. The er sound in like bird and girl. So if you wanted to spell like girl, you need ear, isn't it? So like g, er, er, girl. Or b, erd, bird. So er sound, okay? And then the boy, the, the oi sound in boy. So o and yeah, together makes oi sound. So it's two vowel together. So it's like boy, oi. Okay. The ow sound in cow. So it's like the ow uh, is like, like cow and bow and uh, to, these are the words, okay? It covers with the ow. 
and then the r sound in like car or far or bar something like that the r sound in chair so these are the like basic diphthongs um i'm just giving you the idea with but now i will share um some of the card just to show you quickly and then you can see the words okay so like bird bird so bird has the uh, diphthong and it has er sound so bird bird okay like girl girl also had the diphthong in the middle like er sound okay and then you have boy like oi is the diphthong as well like toy boy okay and then you have that cow cow has the diphthong like ow so it it goes on and on but i will now share with you uh, the worksheet as we said that we have a lot of resources in the school and um, we cannot share everything in this platform but yes if you are in a school if you are um, in our class with us then of course we can use a lot of the resources to make you even a uh, clearer understanding about the diphthong about the phonics so um now i will give you a little bit more idea with um some of the words about the diphthong i'll share the worksheet with you just stay with us okay so here you are okay so like i have a uh, and uh together is a uh, sound so it's like august so you can hear like you know uh in the middle and then taught caught and autumn calls because caution laundry sauce fraud so all these red highlighted they are the diphthong and then a and w mixed together ow ow so this is also a diphthong too like so lows pound brownie crawl draw draw down pound so they are the the blue writing they are the diphthong and then in here is also like ow as well like trout so o sound and then out count out loud pound sound cloud and fountain and as you can see ow we talked about it like you know you have owl bow and allow and all of that is if in orange writing all of the diphthong and oi like um, o and e yeah, together make oi sound also uh, o and e yeah, together makes the oi sound like coin join coin and then we have wink and boil coil and all of these the diphthong all the uh, purple writing and the last one is the boy joy enjoy royal toys poi destroy employ so is oi oi is the diphthong to just give you the little clue i think about you know diphthong we usually teach in like grade 1 and grade 2 student okay so that's a little bit sharing about this so now we i'm going to um pass it to my um, friend my colleague abilasha and she will read a little story a short story 
with um, recording and comprehension. Thank you, Ms. Khan. Hello, boys and girls, friends, dear parents. So we have, in past few days, we have learned a lot about what phonics is all about. Isn't it interesting and a very interesting and fun way for kids to learn how to read? And there is a step-by-step -step process of how the phonics program go. And we at Sydney International School focuses on those stepwise progression of this whole reading program of phonics. And so uh, in continuation with that, I would like to share one little story, a short story with you all. And in that, uh, we'll uh, incorporate whatever we have done so far. Okay? So I'll just share it with you. So here. So the title of this short story is A Sup in the Tub. Bub is in the tub. Bub has a sub in the tub. The sub will get wet in the tub. Bub can dip the sub in the tub. The sub will bob in the tub. The sub can go in the tub. It is fun to get a sub in the tub. So this is how we first read the whole story, the short story, and then we decode it. I'm sure by now you know what is decoding. Let's do it one more time. Bup, uh, bup. Bup is, is in the tub, uh, bup, tub. Now, if you remember, we have also done sight words. So what is this? The, N, is, these are all sight words. B, uh, b, bub, h, as, has, a, s, a, b, sub, in, the, t, a, b, tub. The, s, a, b, sub, w, Il will go at get what at wet in the top of the tub. B of the bub and can do if dip the s of the sub in the top of the tub. The uh, sub what ill will but uh, the bob in the top of uh, the tub. The uh, sub cup and can go or go in the top of uh, the tub. The sub can go in the tub. It it is for a fun to go at get a sub of the sub in the top of the tub. It is fun to get a sub in the tub. So when we are doing this short story with the kids, along with the comprehension, as you can see, Bob is in a dash. So the kids after understanding the story, like after reading it once, twice, thrice, they'll be able to answer the comprehensions. So all our stories are, uh, we always do comprehension with the story. So why not just this comprehension, like we can, uh, we ask the kids, like, can you pick up words from up family? Remember the kids, we did family words, like at family words, unfamily words. So here you can see up family words. So we ask the kids to pick up those words. So they'll say like b up, bub, t up, tub. So these are some of the up family words. And if you see at family words are also there like the at, get, wa at, wet. And then we can uh, we ask them like can you see any sight words here? They'll say yes. The is a sight word. In is a sight word. And like 
we can also ask like can you recognize the cvc words from this short passage then they'll say yes for example bup the is a consonant a is a vowel and again b is a consonant so that's an example of cvc word so this is how like once they understand the concept of all these digraphs and um, blending and uh, segmenting and then when we read the story everything is incorporated it is basically the culmination of whatever they have done so far so which makes the story more interesting and likable by the kids so they really enjoy so there is lots more that we can do with this short story like you can see the picture first we talk about the picture like it's like a picture reading like what do you see in this picture so they get an idea like what is the story is going to be all about by looking at the pictures then we discuss a little bit of picture reading and then we go into the story in detail so that is uh, how our uh, towards the end of uh, making them understand all these sub topics we go into the reading like this so i hope you enjoyed our session and you found it interesting and fun at the same time and it was my pleasure and honor to uh, 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 come up with these sessions and uh, show you some of the basics of the phonics so ms khan would you like to add something to that Yes um I have enjoyed a lot uh making these um phonics sessions doing the phonics sessions and as i said at the beginning of the story the uh, beginning of our phonics session that in bangladesh i have found not many schools um cover phonics therefore phonics is very important and is really basic for the education without phonics our children struggle to read write and speak so therefore phonics need to be in place and um, uh, that's that's the reason sydney international school covers phonics in a big you know like content uh, we cover everything up to nursery to uh, grade 2 and that's why our children are fluent with the reading and writing and speaking and i hope um, this uh, session has been useful to you if you want to know more about phonics please uh, get in touch with the sydney international school we are here to help you and we can support you with that so thank you so much for being with us and uh, we enjoyed a lot stay safe and stay well and see you again in the future soon so bye from me yes it was really a pleasure isn't it ms khan this series i hope they all enjoy the series as much as uh, we enjoyed creating it for everyone so uh, thank you so much everyone for listening to us and hope uh, you have a great life stay safe kids wash your hands regularly wear mask when you are going out and listen to your parents okay bye bye from us now have bye. a great day bye